Hello there guys, what is up? My name is Bezer and St. Possum and welcome to the video. Today I've got two treats for you. The first one is that I'm doing the commentary and everybody knows I'm the best Sphinx member there is out there. Second of all, this beastie gameplay that you're about to see, Search and Destroy on Havana on Black Ops 1. Now, before we truly kick off the commentary, I'm just going to say that my headset mic broke. I actually bought a new headset um, about five days ago and it's already broken so I'm really pissed off. And I'm using this really crappy PC mic that I've just plugged in. Um, that I had since my first ever computer which my family bought in like 1996 or some shit so it's a very old mic um, and I apologise if it's got mic spikes and things in and in this game I'm using Marathon Pro, Lightweight Pro, Stadium Pro on the MP5 with the extended mags and I pick up my first kill there because I'm an absolute animal uh, S&D is my game guys I, I love S&D, it's easily the best game mode far superior to anything else, especially on the competitive level oh, my name's Lukai and I bum CTF no, just shut up right, CTF's a piece of crap S&D is where the men play CTF's just for boys, S&D is where the men play understand that folks picking up my second kill there one thing that's a little bit disappointing about S&D in the most recent Call of Duty games is the fact that you have to go into game chat. Um, I don't like this factor at all, um, because mainly because of the fact that you just enter a lobby and just have a load of people swearing at you and saying you shit and stuff, and it's just a big hassle. Um, and then on top of that, I think the reason they introduced it was to stop people being on opposite teams in the same party, helping one another out, uh, and telling people where everyone is, and they added this sort of game chat feature to get rid of this sort of cheating, but private chat still exists so fuck it everyone's just gonna cheat anyway you might as well let me play in the party talking to my friends while I'm on COD and they're playing Halo or whatever uh, and I can talk to them while I'm doing S&D because I usually play S&D by myself guys it's just something I do I find it fun um, I play for myself and I play S&D unless I'm playing uh, with my friends because I mean this team was absolutely shit um, I basically won as the first three rounds um, got the assist there, that was nearly the ace, I was quite pissed off that I didn't manage to pull that off um, but five kills in the first round isn't bad at all and on top of that uh, this team, basically we won the first three rounds and then we ended up losing the game, I'm not gonna lie um, this team was freaking awful uh, in the rounds that I died I think it's rounds four and five I die quite early on and I've just skipped the next round once I die I'll, I cut out spectating because these guys on my team just camped and stuff, it was really naff um, and on top of that, basically, I won the first three rounds for our guys, and then I died in the fourth and fifth round, and they lost those rounds. And then, I think in the sixth round, I get like four kills or something, uh, and end up freaking still losing the round, because the team's that shit. Um, I got lucky there that the guy's bloody awful, and I'm boss with my Makarov pistol, but what are you going to do? <sighs> now, one thing I like in terms of COD, in terms of the development of COD over the years, is the adding of higher kill streaks. Um, I mean the 357 that they had in COD 4 and 5 was really cool um, when I was first starting off at COD because I was pretty crap um, and it was a r realistic sort of target to hit. I like kill streaks because it gives me something to aim towards in a game and um, I was talking to Milky the other day and he thinks they should bring back just the 357 and I disagreed with him because I feel that it would just be too easy. I mean I'm playing S&D here and uh, I actually managed to pull off getting the dogs kill streak uh, as you'll see I've actually got uh, UAV Sam turret and dogs on and in S and D to get the highest kill streak uh, is quite an achievement but on top of that the fact that really if 357 was there I'd just be raping kids too easy to be perfectly honest <laughs> no I'm kidding but uh, just I don't know I like the higher kill streak so it gives me some change towards so I'm glad that they've kept that with Black Ops 2 um, and the multiplayer in Black Ops 2 looks just so freaking awesome. Uh, and I really can't wait to play Black Ops 2. Uh, the zombies looks great as well. Oh, I'm a massive fan of zombies. If you guys haven't checked out my uh, marathon commentary that was 40 minutes long on Nazi zombies, uh, I definitely recommend check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, basically where I play from round 1 to 18 um, <coughs> on all four of the classic maps, going from... Uh, Natural Totem to Verupt to Shine and Uber to Darice all in one gameplay. Uh, I open doors and the new maps there behind them. Uh, it's just sort of video editing and stuff, and it's really quite cool. I thought I did a good job of that, so I'd love it if you check that out. Um, and in this round, I managed to get my dogs in. Uh, unfortunately, I died quite early on, um, but luckily, my dogs ended up picking up a couple of kills. Totally missed that guy camping in the corner. Um, I think he was trying to get on the bed to hide from the dogs, but my dogs go to town um, on a couple of guys. That guy actually had a good spot on top of the bed there, because obviously the dog couldn't touch him. 
But yeah, I, I think personally that Black Ops, there's one kill from the dogs. Uh, I think that Black Ops 2 will be the best COD yet. Um, I thought the Modern Warfare 3 was very, 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 very boring, very stale, very early on. Um, I don't know what it was about it that was uh, bad, but just, I don't know, It just I got quite bored of it quickly. Um, and I think all the new features and stuff in Black Ops 2, uh, the new class system for starters looks really awesome. Very laggy gameplay there guys, I apologise, I don't know what happened with the connection. But yeah, this 10 point uh, class system I think would be really, really cool. Uh, just because it gives people a chance to be really sort of uh, innovative and imaginative in how they approach the game. A lot more uh, clever, a lot more strategical. Um, with regards to class making, you're not stuck in a slot system. you now got an allocation system where you just buy what you want with the 10 points. I think that would be really cool. Um, going in with just a knife and a load of tomahawks and then like picking up a weapon or whatever uh, and things like that. Um, some of the stuff I do think looks a little overpowered. Uh, that scope that uh, shows where people are when you aim down with the red diamonds, almost like it's a kill streak. Uh, I think that'd be a bit OP, to be perfectly honest. But I know that I'll just be bossing it with my UAV assists and racking up my kill streaks, uh, like the animal that I am. So it shouldn't be a problem. Um, and hopefully, like I say in SD, they'll get rid of the game chat thing. But if they don't, it's no big deal. Um, no doubt, Milky will be there sweating. Uh, Black Ops 2 S and D when it comes out. Uh, the, this guy, these two guys here, just are uh, hate campers. I wish in COD they introduced some sort of system where if you're not moving, you show up on the mini map, and then as you run around, uh, that fades away so that people aren't sitting in corners forever because it's a right pain in the ass. Um, but as you can see, they pulled back around, and that was around that I died in. Um, <clears throat> Obviously, the round before that I also died, but fortunately I had my dog sent in so they could still do something because my team are absolutely useless. Um, I thought a guy saw me, so I was freaking sprinted. Um, saw him and I shot myself. Um, and then I had to check here because I, I had to be sure that there was no one in these corners. And I got lucky with the double and triple play, bitches! Um, so yeah, I was absolutely on fire this game, to be perfectly honest. I totally failed to react to that guy. Don't know what went on there, like. But, uh, yeah, cheese. Oh, cheese. But yeah, Black Ops 2 should be really, 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 really fun. And I'm running out of things to say, as you can probably tell. Um, but the kill streak looks really cool. Uh, I like how it's actually a point streak system now, not just uh, like in Modern Warfare 3, where it's like if you get a kill, you get one unit towards your kill streak. I don't know how I didn't kill that guy. Um, he sponged like a bitch. Uh, you get. You actually get points now, like it's 325 points to get your UAV, and you get 25 points for capping a flag, and 50 for an assist, 100 for a kill, that sort of thing. Um, and I think that'll be really cool, and you also get points from those kill streaks, uh, which I think will be really, really kick ass. Now, as you can see, they've pulled it back to 3 3, uh, and this is the final round. Um, and I think this is the round where I get quite a few kills, and my team still ends up choking it. Um, which, to be perfectly honest, is quite frustrating um, because, I mean, that's, it sort of made this whole gameplay flawed. I mean, it was a good score right at the end, um, but ultimately I ended up with a pretty uh, bittersweet taste in my mouth based on the fact that <coughs> we didn't actually win the game, which is a shame. Totally outplayed this kid because I knew that he was looking for me since I'd fired at that other guy. Um, and then I started going on a rampage looking for people. I saw someone shooting at me. Um, went for the tomahawk. If that had hit, that would have been so sweet. I would have, like, jizzed everywhere, let's be honest. Um, and then freaking Claymore, boom. But, you know, uh, I killed off three of their team. Um, and this guy just runs in and gets shot like an idiot because they're coming again. Uh, and I ended up 20 for 5. Uh, good gameplay. I was pretty happy with it. Hopefully I can perform this well in Black Ops 2. Um, please subscribe to my personal channel if you haven't already. I'll leave the link in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.